It is World Cancer Day. And it sounds like nothing is happening because COVID is around. But then we wouldn't let that actually slide because it's a matter of concern and it really needs to be talked about. Now, because of this issue, how are people, you know, getting you know talked about how do how do people actually get this message of cancer how do people understand how dangerous it is when you know you you actually get this disease very problematic now we have the privilege of speaking to the executive director of african cancer organization mr paul opoku ajimai and he is on the line with us good afternoon sir and welcome to the africa daily show Good afternoon, sir. How are you Thank doing? Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. How are you doing today? By the grace of God, we are well. Great, great, great. Your organization is, has dedicated, you know, its time and resources sure, you know, sure. in, in creating awareness about how cancer is actually a deadly and a detrimental disease. Tell us yes. about the level of awareness you have created in Africa. Well, um, the organization is promoting cancer control. Okay. It's not just only generating awareness mm. for the public to be so much informed, but um, we're also working with health institutions okay. to see how best we could have a very comprehensive cancer control program okay. that will help us to avoid or maybe avert the prevailing high incidence of cancers here in Africa. Okay. So we work with um, a lot of institutions mm. to implement various cancer control programs, including um, some research activities like cancer registries, okay. which are needed to establish a baseline for cancer controls. Mm. It enables us to quantify the, the burden of the disease. Mm. Based on that, we could then allocate... Um, resources and identify partners and see how best we could work to tackle the burden. So if the organization works across um, various spheres of cancer control programs. Mm. Yeah. R right. And I believe you work with um, uh, resource persons in terms of specialists, uh, yes. doctors, oncologists and what have you. What are some of the you know preventive uh, strategies of, of cancer that you put in place? Well, um, when we talk of cancer prevention, mm. I mean, it, 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 we, we could look at it from the individual level, I mean, facility level, national level. So um, when we look at uh, preventing cancer on the, the individual level, mm. you know, we have different types of cancers. Of cancer. We have over 100 types of cancers. Right. And each of them, the cause is different. Mm. The risk factors, they are all different. Um, and then a strategy to prevent the disease are all different. Mm. So we try to segregate and look at the most common cancers we see here okay. um, in Africa or in Ghana. Right. And based on that, we could really work on mm. preventive strategies. Okay. So if we may look into maybe some of the causes and the risk factors, mm. our audience could know the causes, what mm. could increase their chance of developing the disease. Mm. And then when we are discussing prevention, right. you would just, I mean, reverse some of um, these uh, causative um, agents. Mm. So I don't know if we may want to talk a little bit about the cancer, its causes and risk factors, before, and then we address the prevention. Before we get to that, now you made mention of the fact that there are a number of cancers, you know, I mean, d related matters in across Africa, Ghana. Which particular one is actually the most common? Yes, so uh, when we look at common cancers in Africa, mm -hmm. in fact, um, cervical cancer is a leading cancer here. Okay. Um, breast cancer is also common. We see a lot of liver cancers mm. um, across the men and the women. Uh, we also see ovarian cancers among the women. Mm. Uh, among the men, we also see prostate cancers being a predominant um, cancer among them. Mm. And then we also see cancers of the stomach. Mm. Mm. Uh, colon rectum cancers are very common. Um, among the children, there is a cancer called um, lymphomas, which is very common among them. So these are the 
most common cancers we see here. Mm. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about challenges. How you know people actually find it difficult sometimes in terms of the treatments. How do you step in in in, the, in that in that direction for them? Yeah. Um, you see, when we look at treatment, I mean, it's considered as a special cancer prevention. Right. And when we look at it, most of the people, most of the cancers we diagnose, they get to the hospital so late that treatment is mostly ineffective. Mm. Most of the cases, more than 70% of the cancer cases we see here right now, I mean, we call them, they are so advanced that, I mean, we can't cure their disease. Mm -hmm. But this is a case, uh, cancer, I mean, one third of all cancers could be cured. And no. another one third of cancers could be prevented. Right. But because the public is not so much aware, mm. I mean, they stay home and present their disease so late that the kind of treatment we give to them is costly and is also ineffective. Mm. So uh, we could spend a lot of resources on these cancer patients okay. and eventually we will lose them. Mm. So what the organization, African Cancer Organization, is doing now mm. is to rather engage, put strategies in place to engage the general public mm. so that they become so aware of the disease. This will let them avoid getting exposed to things that will cause or increase their risk. Okay. I mean, through the awareness, they could check their bodies in case something is developing. Mm. They could get it promptly reported where we could treat to aim cure. Mm. So my organization is looking at primary and secondary prevention, which is like awareness creation and uh, promotion of um, screening. Right. So that we could either avoid the disease in the first place okay. or maybe in case we are developing it because not all cancers that okay. we could avoid them. Right. In case right. one is developing it, we could promptly get it reported where we could treat it to okay. aim cure. Right. So now, we are dealing more with the public okay. and we allow the few cases that mm. go to the hospital to be okay. handled by the various hospitals. Let's talk about age group. Yeah. At what age, you know, do you do you think one should actually volunteer him he or him or herself for you know testing? Uh, in terms of um, testing, going for screening. Yeah, and, for screening. Um, yes, and yeah. all of that. Yeah. What age? Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, mm. I mean, each of these cancers, they they, they all work in different kind of. Uh, so when we look at um, age distribution of cancer, usually, mm. as we are aging, mm. our risk of developing cancers will be going up. Okay. So most of the cancers tend to affect the elderly. Okay. Um, when we look at um, a cancer like um, a breast cancers, mm. we tell women to start examining their own breast um, from the 20s going. So at the age of 20, we, that's that's the figure you no, can so give? Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, yes, from 20 years going. In fact, the one day, I mean, because, I mean, those are the stages, the ages that something may start popping up if um, anything should develop in the body. Okay. And, I mean, if uh, we, we, we get it notified, okay. we could work it out and avert any future progression. Mm. But... um. Aside that, we so I mean I'm not saying that usually I mean the cancers that um, could start at uh, from their twenties, okay. Right. But right. majority of them tend okay. to, I mean they are forties, fifties, sixties are uh, where we. But you see, cancer develop it takes so many years to develop. Right. About Twenty years, some mm. fifteen years, and the like. So okay. in case something has started at your early stage in life, mm. we could pick it early. So we advise women to examine their own breast once a month. Okay. I mean, if there is anything, you get it reported. Right. And then once a year, you go to the hospital for a doctor or a nurse to get you clinically examined. Okay. And women who are 40 years and older, you mm. know, their age and their risk are going up. Absolutely. We also advise them to also include mammogram. It's okay. It's a machine right. that takes a foot of the breast. So right. Aside the breast, we also advise women who are in their uh, uh, early 30s. To okay. Uh, go right. for cervical screening. Okay. 
Uh, right. That one, we check their service to see if something is developing. Okay. And among the men, mm. from 40 years going, we advise them to go for prostate test. Okay. Uh, so that if anything is test. developing right. in there, yes. Mm. I mean, mm. because most of the men who develop the prostate cancers are usually in their 50s, 60s, 70s. Right. So if you start checking it from the age of 40, 40. Mm. Uh, 45 going, mm. so some things that we could pick it early, it early. wouldn't mature right. to develop uh, okay. cancers like the liver cancers mm. are usually caused by uh, hepatitis, some alcoholic induced, and we advise people to go for, I mean, this hepatitis screening. I mean, from as young as they are, I mean, mm. adolescent young adult, adult, yeah. all going yeah. for such... Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about COVID-19. How are you able to operate in this particular, you know, situation we find ourselves where, of course, you, social distancing, preventive measures and what have you. How are you operating and, you know, championing the cause of awareness and reducing the rates at which people get exposed? Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, we all know how COVID-19 has disrupted, I mean, virtually every industry. Yeah. And in fact, the health sector, I mean, being the front line organization, working it out, is highly, highly affected. Okay. Much of the attention now is given to uh, COVID-19, which makes a lot of sense. Mm. So there is a lot of gap in cancer controls now, especially in the area of public health. Mm. You know, we deal with the population, the masses, right. mass awareness, mass screening, and following the protocols, it really hinders our operation because now we can't easily go and mount mass campaign and have the public screened or media that we create awareness. We usually do some of these things online, virtual, but they are not too effective. So, I mean, the cancer um, organization is uh, largely affected when we look at those on the treatment side, right. we see that those with the cancer disease, mm. they already have that as an underlying condition. So when they are affected by COVID, the impact is um, much more right. fatal. So this is, these are some of the few challenges okay. we, are, we right. are facing. But we are seeing how best we could consider this new normal and um, work around it. Okay, right. Today is World Cancer Day. What are you doing today? Do you have any program, any events coming up to, to further sensitize, you know, the, the general public? Yes, of course. I mean, um, we've been creating our awareness um, every year. Mm. This year, because of the impact of COVID, COVID. Mm. we are really uh, keeping our heads a bit low and supporting bodies like you, the media, sure. we're generating mm. so much awareness. Mm. We are not um, doing the usual screening we may want to do on World Cancer Day, okay. our fundraising events and all those things. The people's engagements are a bit disconnected in the meantime, but right. um, we are still working with other health institutions and um, Okay. some of the media to propagate the message on this World Cancer Day. Thank you very much for joining us on the Africa Daily Show. We will certainly reach out to you if we have other follow-ups as well. All right. Thank uh, you so that much for was, having me. Okay, you're welcome. That was the Executive Director of uh, African Cancer Organization, Mr. Opoku Ajimai, on the line with us right here. <laughs> So yeah, this is something that would never let it pass us. We will definitely mark this day and it's very, in, very, very important. And yes, I have my colleagues with me. Uh, Hafiz has just joined us and we would uh, kick off with conversation right here. Chaman. How are you? Great, 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 great. How is the day? Uh, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. 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 Today, is, today is like we're dealing with two health issues, even though the other one is more... Yeah. You know, more, uh, should I say, one-on-one. -on -one. We're facing it, even though we cannot <laughs> see it. Uh, we we kind of like look at the other one from afar. But World Cancer Day it is today. And, I mean, we just spoke to uh, Mr. Uh, Opoku Ajimai, Paul Opoku Ajimai, who's the executive director of African Cancer Organization. He talked about some of the things they do and um, the cancer is actually, uh, you know, more common amongst men and women. And then some of the things they actually uh, do in terms of getting uh, the message out there to the rural areas as well. Hafiz. Yes, uh, mm. thank you very much. Uh, listening to him, I think uh, 
largely uh, his organization is uh, is into awareness creation. Mm -hmm. So it's more about uh, prevention, being proactive. Yeah. Uh, yes, in the fight against uh, cancer, whatever cancer that is. Right. I mean, like you mentioned, there are so many cancers out there, and uh, someone has got to be out there to do the job to get people sensitized. Right. And I think basically that's what uh, they are into. Mm -hmm. But uh, he mentioned very interesting things. Not just the when I think they, they actually do screening as well. Okay, screening. get okay. people screened and you know try to get specialists into the yeah. picture as well too. Exactly. So it's, know, a, it's, it's a yeah. whole package. Generally, yes, generally, yes, generally. right. Yes, and uh, I think they must be commended mm. uh, for for this effort. I mean, especially in a time like COVID, and I particularly liked uh, that question. Mm. Where I mean, where COVID has taken center stage, right, right. right. People, it's it's what everyone talks about these days, mm. and so uh, chances are you're going to have issues such as these, you know, relegated to the background. True. Yes, and so having to ask him and you know try to find out what exactly their organization is doing about it in right. a time like this, I think uh, it was quite interesting. But mm. uh, another interesting bit I found, I I realized was uh, you know uh, the, the gender. Uh, you know, situation when it comes to uh, cancer, the cancers. Mm. I mean, with women, he talked about cervical cancer, ovarian, mm -hmm. and breast, and all yeah. that. With men, he talks about the prostate, prostate cancer, cancer. Colon. and for the children, I didn't quite get the word mm. uh, he used. Yeah, mm. lymphoma. Lymphoma. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that. Anyway, so I mean, generally, but <laughs> anyway, so with awareness creation, right? Uh, I usually have trouble understanding. Why uh, I just feel some cancers have taken center stage. They this seem to get a lot of reach and awareness uh, than others. Mm. Now, if you take uh, breast cancer for instance, there's a whole month. Yeah, for breast cancer. To breast cancer. In fact, there's even a theme color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> pink, the pink, the pink month. Huh? That's <laughs> so what they call it. The pink, there's pink even tuba. Color and everything. So yeah. Which is nice and all. Mm. I mean, in trying to get people to to to, to understand what yeah. breast cancer, mm -hmm. and, you know, they screen, and I mean, you can even do your own screening and everything. Mm. I think the, that message has actually gone down well with a lot of women. Right. A lot of women can actually do, uh, you know, a personal screening of uh, of their own before they actually see a, a specialist. Mm -hmm. My trouble here is with the guys. I, I don't know if we feel we are being left out in the uh. whole fight against cancer, especially in this case, prostate cancer. Okay. Yes, how many guys can actually say they can do a personal exam down there? Mm. And how do you even do it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I, I believe there are ways, methods in doing well, it. there are definitely ways. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure you sitting behind the console can, can tell me no, emphatically uh, that. No, not at all. Why are you looking all weird? <laughs> no, I, 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 Why are you and you know, weird? and surprisingly, yes. I think it has not has not been given that much, you know, importance. As in, like, yes. even though they talk about it, remember off air, I was yeah, 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 you meant yeah, all exactly kinds of crazy stuff around prostate. But that's process. interesting, though. Yes, and I, I think, I just feel you know, information surrounding that department. Yeah. Is, it's not uh, much out there. Yes, uh, has mm. taken the back seats a little bit. And for me, that is worrying. Mm. Yes, uh, for most guys, that a lot of guys are not so big on, you know, personal health. And I think it's very important mm. because, like you mentioned, as you go old, go older, yeah. the chances or the risk get higher. Higher, yes. true. And cancer is, 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 is so scary in the sense that, I mean, it doesn't have to, it, it's not limited to your life choices or your or the way you live, mm. basically. I mean, yes, we could trace lung cancer and all that to to your uh, you know your choice of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But how about the ones that are not preventable? Some are genetics, basically. They so just develop. Exactly. So if one parent has it, chances are when you grow older, mm. it's, 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 it's it's going to come it's going to come up at some point. So right. I just feel the education uh, needs to go further, especially in a time like this where COVID has taken center stage. And so for me, for me, that is the part about it. Anyway, so. But there are still a few, mm. uh, you know, concerns I would like to express, but then I'll... I'll okay. I'll All right, let's hear my May on uh, World Cancer Day today. Yeah, I mean, we, we're always hearing cancer, cancer, cancer. Yeah. Cancer, cancer. For mm. those who do not know, cancer is actually a disease mm. in which abnormal cells divide uncontrollably and destroy by body tissue. Right. It can start anywhere in the body. Mm. And what World Cancer Day aims to do is to save millions of preventable deaths each year right. by raising awareness and education about cancer, mm. impressing governments and individuals across the world to take action against the disease. Mm. I feel like some of these things are things we don't usually talk about much. We hardly. 
We had little. I can't remember. I, I, look, I can I can tell you for a fact that until uh, last year October when we actually did the breast cancer thing, I have never taken mm-hmm. time to sit down like you know what? Let's talk about cancer today, man. Like cancer, uh, mm-mm. yeah. So, <laughs> so it's like we wait till a day a, something a is, is getting day, out of hand. Yeah, then we or, talk about it. But I feel right. like these are issues that we should talk about day in on day a daily basis. I mean, they yeah. could have pamphlets in the hospitals that when you go to the hospital, you go to a clinic, you could just pick one. Some of these posters read. in the hospitals, I think we we sometimes see them. You know, poster there with, with breast tuberculosis I mean, they, and what they, have they, you. They, they, they yeah, and then they're common cool ones like yeah. the breast cancer one. Yeah. Just put a vasectomy, uh, the vasectomy, something, something there, like vasectomy. Yeah. Vasectomy has to do with the the man's organ. Oh, sorry, sorry. The uh, the the word for you know what do you call it again? The mammogram. Mammogram. No, 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 no. When they actually cut one part of your breasts. Uh, yeah. There's, uh, there's a name for it. I I, I think the, the for sex something just just came out, but there's a particular name for yeah, it. Just in my but then continue. Head, like, I just don't want to mention it. But then continue, <laughs> mommy. But mommy continue. So as I was saying, I feel like these are things that we should talk about day in day out, mm-hmm. instead of just waiting till like a special day and then mm. we talk about them. Right. And then, um, in as much as concentrating on some cancers are great, I feel like we should talk about all of them. Yeah, because. Every cancer is dangerous. So far as it's cancer destroying tissues in your body, it's never yeah. it's actually not something good, you know, for the body. Okay. And, uh, and then right. he talked about um, the causes and the risk factors, which include late report to the hospital. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. think some of these things come from us. Sometimes you feel a pain here, you're like, oh, it'll go. Mm-hmm. You see something strange, they tell you, boil something, drink something. Yeah you'll be fine. Mm. Sometimes they just you just need to go to the hospital to mm. get checked. Okay. So that if it's if it's something more, it'll be detected early and then treatment can start. Right. Because most of people who die from cancer die from it as a result of late detection. Yeah, that's true. And that's then true. the treatment starts and it doesn't work because of um the, the, the cells have spread to mm-hmm. so many parts yeah. of the body. I think the word is mastectomy. Mastectomy. Okay. Yeah, mastectomy. Okay. So I kinda like interchanged it. Right. Okay, continue. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I landed. Okay, you landed there. Eh? Yeah. All right, the, the passengers <laughs> can now, you know, get off board. Okay, half is. Yes. Um uh, I think uh, she started by talk, talking about how it's it, it's uh, we hardly discuss uh, these issues. Mm. Uh, we only wait for a celebratory month, or right? Yet they, then we start talking about the, uh, them. And and for me, uh, one part I also want to look at is the emotional support given to patients. Okay. Because it's 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 one part I I believe that if it's worked on, we could. Our attitude towards it will change greatly. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you, if you, I mean, ca- dealing with cancer is not like your everyday flu or malaria. I mean, and so everyone's experience is unique. is 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 different from the other. Sure. And so you have persons or individuals that, you know, you are told that a relative or a partner or someone mm. has cancer, and immediately you you don't know what to do with yourself. Mm. And it's a time where these are persons that need a lot of emotional support. Right. Okay. What you say and how you act around them is very important at a time like that. Okay. Yes. A lot of them uh, at that period in time mm. could be dealing with issues of fatigue. Some are dealing with weight loss. Others are dealing with hair loss and everything. Mm, mm, mm. You can't come around them and start making comments about their appearance. Right. Yes. It's, mm. I mean, it's insensitive it's to a, say it's a, dif- it's a difficult yes. period, yeah. Yes, uh, mm. all of that. Even the conversations you, you have with you know, patients and everything. Mm. Yes, some will come around and they think they are doing <laughs> doing good by pitying you. I mean, yeah. yes, some don't even want to have any other conversation apart from. I mean, it's okay to mm. want to have mm. different, uh, you know, different sides of conversation mm. with a cancer patient. Mm. You know, at least it helps them get their mind of yeah. some of these yeah. things. So I just think the conversations surrounding how to act around cancer patients is also so something very we, key yeah mm. yes yeah, so we should encourage we should put out there because i mean you have sometimes you have someone come around and they start looking at you weird law and I that's mean, where the switch to the gospel mode to, to, it's, to, to the preaching mode and start it's crazy. preaching it's crazy. and i say that's just the end this is over man <laughs> The show is Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio. We're talking world cancer day to day. And uh, 
Yeah, it's very, very important that we and get uh, quickly, a web. Okay. Quickly, talking mm. about cancer, I think, I mean, Black Panther, <laughs> when do we even remember that? Yeah, Chadwick <laughs> Boseman, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's Chadwick. been living for, with that for, for God four knows years. how long. Yes, he was living with that for close to four years. Mm. And close to his family for keeping all that information under wraps. Yeah. It, it must have yeah. been a difficult period of time mm. uh, for him. Mm. Yes, and I mean... I think the first time the world got a glimpse of what exactly he was going on was when he he came on Instagram with live that video. To, yes, uh, I think yeah. he was interacting about a particular project, but then yeah. he he looked so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, yeah. it had taken a, l- a a lot on his body and mm. then, and people and the comments in in, in in that interaction was all about the way he uh, he looked and he had to switch all the comments. Yeah, yes, see, uh, so people I mean, it really got to him. Yeah. It must have really got into him. So. It's not easy dealing with it, uh, having people say all kinds of things, uh, you know, about the way you suddenly yeah. look, because they are dealing with it not with a yeah. lot as it is, and mm. you you just have to be sensitive. Yes, yeah. no one is saying you should walk on eggshells around them, but say just something positive, you know. Exactly, give that's the, the way. Give them just, hope just that it will hope. it will be good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Harvey. Let's take last uh, words from Mummy. Yeah, so the World Cancer Day theme that is used all around is I am and I will. Okay. But the special theme for this year is together all our actions matter. Right. And then the I am and I will actually is a campaign that shows that our actions have an impact on everyone around us within our neighborhoods, communities, and cities. Okay. And that more than ever, our actions are also being felt across borders and oceans. Right. And this year is a reminder of the enduring power of cooperation and collective action. Okay. When we choose to come together, we can achieve what we all wish for, a healthier, brighter world without cancer. Right. Together, all of our actions matter. So if you want to talk about World Cancer Day today, uh-huh. you can do so by using the hashtag I am and I, I will. will. Everyone should get on board and let's start the conversation about cancer in our various homes.